Members, I just want to bring your attention to some, some information. I know that um, we have been working um, with the administration on this particular item um, because it was not a public meeting. The public may not be aware um, that there was a recent meeting um, specifically on Memorial Field with the administration where specific questions were um, asked from the administration, from the Board of Legislators, both on accounting, on how this particular project is progressing. And I know that there is a, um, there, once we gather that information, then there, there will be some additional public discussion so people understand. Um, however, um, just in the note of our act that we passed, um, which was Act 2010, number 5050, which was adopted on May 10th in 2010, um, the exact language that is in it um, is, is uh, very telling in this particular scenario um, on the request, because in the, the request, it simply states a new all-weather track. That is what is in the Bond Act that was adopted by this board. And um, for clarification, it has not been sold, so there could not be an offering plan at this time. So where we are at this particular time is we are working with the administration um, as they work with the city of Mount Vernon on their intermunicipal agreement. Um, there was flexibility built into it because of things like cost and potential cost overruns so that there would be the flexibility for the city of Mount Vernon to work within a guideline. So just want to make sure that we have that clear on the record. There has not been a bond sale. There is no offering plan and the, the uh, track that is um, that was bonded by this board says a new all-weather track period, no number of lanes. With that, if we could please rise and observe a moment of silence for those listed in the memorial resolutions.